Hi there, welcome to Kali and the Gardener. It is middle of August and it is hot outside. We've had 110 days for the past couple days and I don't think that temperature is gonna break for the next couple till we get to the weekend. But in August, we are thinking now about fall planting. And a lot of times I'm super burned out by everything I've been doing in my garden, harvesting, preserving, that I can't even wrap my mind around planting again for fall. But a lot of people are talking about it. So I thought I'd show you some quick things that I actually do and, and don't even put much thought into. And I think that would be great for you to add to your garden. So make sure you hit subscribe, like, keep watching our videos. So there are four things I want to show you. This is number one. This is my green bean bed right here. What I did is as we harvested the potatoes earlier in the season, I literally was throwing seeds down as we smoothed back the dirt. The reason that these green beans are here are because they are an excellent follow-up plant to something that really drains a lot of resources from the dirt. Any sort of legume, peas, green beans, garbanzo beans, pea, uh, just beans in general, are gonna add nitrogen back to the soil and enrich it. And so we have this patch right here, and that is going to replace this patch over here that you can see. We've got beautiful beans still growing, but before fall, they are going to sort of peter out. And when that is the case, I am going to have more green beans to pick. It's called succession planting. It's great. So I prefer to call it succession planting rather than fall planting. And what you can see here is this was my garlic row. And as I was pulling back the dirt, sort of reshaping the bed as we harvested the garlic, I was throwing down carrot seeds in it. And you can see there's also some Swiss chard that I planted that's really taking off beautifully here. And it's not going to be a ton of carrots at this point, but I picked a variety and I'll have it listed below from Baker Creek heirloom seeds that will come to maturity in about 55 days. So when they're ready to harvest, I'm going to be getting that garlic back in the ground. If there are carrots that are not at that full maturity, that's okay because the beauty of this root vegetable is it's great to eat at any time. So carrots are an awesome crop to throw down either a succession planting or fall planting. And if you can leave them in the ground to first frost, they taste even better. All right, let's go to the next box. These are my cucumbers. So I am adding cucumber seeds to the ground as the beginning of August hits. And you can see they're starting to develop and grow. When my bigger, more mature cucumbers start to sort of fade away, develop disease, I can clear them out and these babies are gonna take over and we will continue producing cucumbers till frost. And then finally, this is an herb patch. I'm just sort of freeforming here. This is dill that I just threw the seeds into the ground from other dill that we had that was more abundant than we needed to save at the time. And then I have cilantro that's starting to form. We were growing a ton of cilantro here. We harvested a lot of the seeds, but again, I got it into the ground. And these lovely herbs are going to be helpful preventing that grass weed that you see from expanding and sort of taking over. Herbs are a great way to quickly produce something that you can dehydrate or preserve or freeze before frost and they'll grow really fast before that winter takes over. Then I have lettuce in this area and again I'm pretty lazy at this point in the garden because it's so hot. I'm letting it go to seed. You can see the flowers here they're gonna drift all over the place and then lettuce is gonna start taking over this bed in the next few weeks, which is gonna be great because come later in the season when it's earlier fall, I am going to have awesome lettuce to harvest and it's gonna be really easy to see in this bed now that a lot of things have been cleared away. All right, so don't think of fall planting as a punishment. Think of it as a lazy man's way to just get a little more of a boost out of your garden. Planting things that you enjoy eating and that you want to extend the season on. So carrots, green beans, peas, cucumbers, herbs. Those are great things to plant. 
any root vegetables are also awesome to plant or cabbage because they do so much better in the cold environment of fall and now's the time to get them in get those seeds warmed up and going before that temperature starts to cool down which can't come soon enough all right remember hit subscribe like keep watching our videos